Yo, what's up? On this episode, we got my boy Rich Aronovich is here. We discuss uh, trauma, where the co- trauma comes from, how your family affects you, um, getting out of your own head, dealing with molestation, and how all those things affect how you approach women and how you can be the best version of yourself. That's right. And also, uh, we're on Patreon. Uh, just me and Dante. We get we get into some deep stuff on the uh, Patreon episode. It's really really cool uh we talk about how your family affects you how we evolve as human beings uh what you have control over and what you don't have control over and speaking of what you have control over uh also oral sex tips so definitely join us over at uh patreon.com slash manschool 202 uh it helps us out a lot it helps us keep the show going and so you know we really appreciate it if you join us and we're doing a lot of fun stuff over there so uh join us if you will i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up? TYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Wow. if you don't, I have said that 500 times before. Right. But this time I mean it. Really? Yes. Wow. We got a special oh guest do in the it. building, dude, that uh, I've known for a long time. But I don't want to get into that yet. Harry, how are you doing? Oh, me? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yeah, why would you even ask I that? apologize for asking. I'm sorry. That's just, that's just disrespectful. You almost smushed me on that one. Um, You ready to rock and roll? Let's I'm ready get... to rock and roll. All right, let's do I'm it. Uh, I want to introduce this dude, uh, special dude, special dude in my heart. Um, I've known this dude 20 years um, grinding in this comedy fucking hellhole we call, uh, he's even been doing it longer than me, uh, and, and still got a smile. I also haven't heard of me. <laughs> 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 y'all, give it up for my boy Rich Aronovich, y'all, give it up for Rich Aronovich. What's going on, baby? Oh, you know, I saw Harry last night, we did a, a, a gig. He told me, he told me you murdered. That's right. And and look where I am today. He yeah. called me and said, "Rich Aronovich murdered I Marvin." That new sound you're looking for. <laughs> Listen to this. I did. I held the pay for I, it. Up. I was dis. I, I thought first of all, this yeah. is. I have no axe to grind. The, the comedy of Harry, I haven't seen for a long time, and I'm yeah. like, that shit is fun. And they were like, they were get, they just were not. They weren't. Ah, they weren't was, giving it up. They were not giving it up. They didn't give it up all night. Or they didn't those, give it up. They were also inconsistent. They're one of those weird audiences where they would give a little. You're like, okay, all right, got them, and yeah. then they just give up on you. And you're like, all right, I'm not yeah, doing something. I mean, and- there was they're old. They were older. Yeah, and they were in. You know, they had money. I think yeah. South Orange. South Orange. Well, they built their own. We were. In they their built movie their own theater. theater. They yeah. built their own movie theater. I don't want to go to the city, build my own. Yeah. <laughs> I want grilled chicken with no grill marks. I want a grilled salmon with no grill marks. Real order, by the way. Real order. <laughs> and then um, I also think what helped is uh, the comic that went before me talked about murdering her five-year-old. Yeah. And that made them go, whoo? Yeah. It, it sort of helped me because it was like, <laughs> and I yeah. made fun of it a little bit. <laughs> Not to disrespect her, but I, I uh, or him. Fuck her. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's a little. It was a little, a little harsh. It was a little harsh. I enjoyed the shit out of it because it was interesting, but it didn't. It didn't get the results in the room. Yeah, like you and I, as comedians, yes, I we think like hearing something interesting, even if it doesn't. Work it's got to be finessed. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, yeah. like when you go, when you do racial stuff outside your own racial stuff. When you do like, you know, sort of edgy, you got to kind of finesse it a little bit. Sure. You sure. don't want them to go like, what a fucking monster. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like you wanna. Yeah. Can we curse on this? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, absolutely. You know what's interesting? And I've said this to people. Oh, you can't say nothing. Every white dude I talk to goes, oh, you can't say nothing. I go, yeah, you can. I, yeah, I you- thought that it was tense. I, this is what I said. You know, I, I said it was tense. It's less tense. And I every now and again, but I go, I, no, everything's fine. Because we're, we're, we're concerned about a fringe. You know, you can't cancel someone who doesn't have anything to cancel. Right. So what the, what are we afraid of? Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to be in a fucking movie theater in right. South Orange. Right, right, right. Cancel. Right. I'm canceled. Yeah. There's, you know, God already yeah, hates yeah. me. It's very obvious. Cancel Here's it. the thing. Yeah. Rich is, God, Rich please is cancel a, it. So I never Rich is that. a really creative dude. And Absolutely. he throws it. Yeah, he throws it on the fucking grill. He don't he don't, yeah, he, don't really care. he commits like a motherfucker. The Thing is, we and we had a conversation maybe a couple of years I ago, this. and I said, "Rich, you get." And I don't know if this is a Jewish thing or not. Maybe Probably it is. A Jewish thing. Anytime you got to ask that, it's don't interrupt the man. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was, Rich would be killing the room 
one person yep. not getting it, and he would focus on that one person. Can I, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. I actually remember this conversation. Yeah. See, I'm my, I can really, I'm my biggest enemy, right? Yeah. So, like, my, my, um, what happens, I'll get a compliment, I'll put it through my head, and it'll come out negative. So people are like, God, you're so funny. And what I hear is, you're unsuccessful. You understand? <laughs> oh, I, I have wow. this this really self wow. yeah, hatred thing Jewish that's going thing, on. Jewish I mean, look, we it's uh, all comedians, you know what actually. Jews do. Jews like to bring up the Holocaust like a like a hot girl brings up her boyfriend. <laughs> you know, out of nowhere, you're like, you know, My it's uh, like we always want to bring it up, but there is some historical stuff to that. Like, oh, it's my doubt. parents are. Ne it's never going to work out. Death, doom, and destruction. I said, hey, I'm. I, remember Al Del Benny? Yes. Yeah. So I was. I'm good friends with Al. I'm going to borrow a bag from Al. I'm on a trip. I don't have a bag. My mom had the bag ripped. Me losing the friendship, and I haven't even left my apartment yet. No. I'm gonna get. I was gonna get a job at um, Playboy TV. Big, big money. It was like me and th two other dudes. They were testing us. She said, "If you get fired by episode three, it's not your fault." I don't even have the fucking job, and I'm fired. Who is yeah. this? Who's saying this? My Who's mother. Yeah, yeah, of course. My mother. She. she well, so it's, it's, you know they've so, even talked about that stuff. That kind of negativity being built into the DNA. Like the trauma, the post trauma, the fact that you grow up with this trauma in the context of that, and it and it repeats on yourself. If and this is again bringing up the but my grandfather believed that the the Nazis were going to invade Poland, right? He paid off soldiers. His whole family did not think that, that was possible. That's why he's alive because he believes the worst could happen. Right. So it's sort of like a survival it's mechanism. A but I have worked on it tremendously. Yeah. So what I do is I now I'm starting to do a little meditation and. I don't know what I believe in, but I'm just going, help me God, help me be as funny as possible so I can be of service to these people. Help me get out of my own way so I can wow. be of maximum use to the other. So, like, for example, sometimes, like, you know, if, if whatever, I'll, 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 instead of it being negative, I'll try to, like, enjoy it. Like, usually if someone heckles me, I'll agree with them. You <laughs> suck. You have no idea. Yeah. You can't hate me more than I hate me, and I'll stand next to them. Get a puppet. I've you should seen. do magic. <laughs> Cut your I've, hair. I've it's I've a seen. gimmick. <laughs> And they, yeah, you see me do it. I'm seeing. One time I had it. Because it's diffusing. You can't. Well, we. I suck. I agree. What else are you gonna talk about? Then you're. Then another. I've gotten it. So I had a guy after the West Side. He came at me like I've never seen a guy more insulted. He had a Peloton shirt, and I want to talk about how I'm fat. So I used his shirt to get into some bit about my, you know, whatever. And he came up to me after, and I, I mean, I had a great set, which I don't say unless I really had a great. And he was like, "You're the worst comedian I've ever seen." And I'm like, "Wow, that's like," and I said, "I think if I you got to be the worst. I mean, that's to be the worst. That ever. ever seen. I mean, the ever. Um, like he's like, the your, your, worst. your style is out of. I mean, yeah. it was just, it was brutal. Now I could have said, "Hey, you want to take this outside? I'll give you a forty minute head start, you fat fuck." <laughs> but I didn't. Instead, I said, "Hey, man, I wasn't here to upset you. I was here to entertain you." And I think you misunderstood. I did use your shirt to get into something, but I was insulting myself. I wasn't insulting you. And I'm, he's, you know, you look great. I'm sure I, I didn't see the before, but the after's great. I think you misunderstood. I said, hey, it, I'm not for everybody. You're a vegetarian. I'm serving steak. That's totally cool. You have your right to your opinion. But thank you for not doing it on the internet. Thank you for doing it to my face. Right? Thank and you for not going say? to Yelp. What and did he say? Yeah. He, his whole energy changed and he immediately felt like a dick. It was the smart, nice. it was like he was like, yeah, it's just like I'm working really hard, you know. And I go, dude, you look great, man. And it was like, it was like he wanted to be fight, and I was like, no, no, I agree. I yeah, I'm not. Uh, fuck yeah, I suck. What? Uh, 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 and he left fucking confused. He didn't call the club. He didn't make a problem for me. My ego was all over me for three days. Right, right. You pussy! <laughs> all three days. <laughs> but well, I, let me ask you something, Rich. Uh, like yesterday, I saw you killing, right? Mm -hmm. I saw you killing. Murder! <laughs> Murder! Murder. Out in the streets, Dante. Out in the in streets. They call it murder. Did you know that? Murder! <laughs> That's what you were doing. So now, do you leave that set unhappy? Are you one of those guys? Or, like, are you going uh, to appreciate what that was? Well, you did turn that room around and killed, man. No, I, I, had a, I had a very good feeling leaving. I really, we hung out after a little bit. I also liked, I mean, I knew everyone except for... We're not going to say her name. I don't, I don't really know her. I've seen a couple of, but I've known you for many years. Yeah, I know yeah. Robin for many years. I know Joe for many years. Yeah. So it was a great like part of the reason I love being. New York has a real community of comedy. Sure. I lived in L.A. for five years. It's not a. It's bullshit. It is. What can you do for me? Tit for tat. That kind of thing. There's no. How you been? Oh, I just finished this. Thing. Yeah, Shut yeah, up. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. I remember seeing. You know. I, I just. You could. It's very transparent. Yeah. And they're also like. It's not everybody. 
But usually those people started in New York and then they moved over and yeah, you know yeah. like they, and they were know, LA people. I won't say like yeah like they like became you know, LA yeah they, they yeah. Yeah, some of them did some of them didn't but they they'll help to help you know. Um, we just it's just good energy but that's I love that I I'm it, I'm I, I'm surprised you remember that conversation. Oh, uh, definitely because I, I, I because I, even though I don't have I have enough. What was the conversation? It, we didn't get into the full. Extent it was basically saying I'm a self saboteur. Like I yeah. could be killing and I see one guy and you look who's at who's upset and I focus on the one guy and my brain will go to him. My eyes will go to him. It's like it's the opposite of stages. Do, and he would do it. Until he lost the people the, that, that, that was already killing, because yeah. they would be like, see, "I'll what see the, the one person." I think all comedians see the one person, but I've I've always oh, been I'll... able to go. Don't know what his problem is. That's odd. Everything else is running smoothly. Let's keep going. But some people, yeah, like will I, see that and just go, "Fuck! What the fuck? Why?" Rich would fixate on it. Yeah, I, I would. I obsess. Obsess. I would even be in like the a, back, like going, a pit bull jaw. I would be in the back going. What are you like, doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's He's waving him off. Just it's waving a lot of people yeah, here. No, no, no. This is this guy. I got it. I don't care. Your grandmother just died, and you've got full blown AIDS. You're gonna fucking laugh. He's killing. He's killing, and he's going. What about that? Yeah, guy? I gotta get this. And and that's the other thing. Like, there's opposite comics who have stage or ab- rabbit ears stages where they see the one guy laughing. I, I killed. I killed. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's Were you in the same fucking room? Did you just run into Warren Holstein again? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> is he still? doing comedy? I, I haven't seen so. him in a he's, while. He's I see a him dad. on Facebook every yeah. once in a while. He looks like he's definitely we writing. Had, we had him on the show and it all makes sense. <laughs> like it we all into everything that made, happened we, that makes sense. He he cuz he had his son. He was uh-huh. on a, he had his son and his mother is like he's like Gilbert Grape. Like his mm-hmm. his mother's teeth are broken. Like they are like you know how when you, you you know how when somebody, a cartoon gets hit in the head with a mallet and then the teeth <laughs> yeah. crack, right? Yeah. The, he, this is what he said. I've never seen it. He says, and we had to stop letting her see the baby be- until she got her teeth fixed because she was scaring the child. <laughs> this is what he said Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow, 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 wow. And I was like, it there was like, oh, 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 no, I get it. I get well, like If he, you delve into all of us, there's some fucked up shit within the confines of... But it, nobody it, stands it, for the, looking for the approval of strangers if that they're, yeah. they're good inside. I think 99% there's some damage if you're doing some comedy, some some hurt or something. I think, or you, you won't think stay. You think, there's definitely Oh, damage. you're definitely you fucked for, up. For comedy? You just, the, the last episode, you just talked about your how you're not going to your sister's funeral. Yeah, there's damage That's, that's there. fucked up. There's something fucked up. No, you don't see there's a problem there? No. You don't see that's that that's even a bigger problem. But here, here's why. Why? Because um I don't put stake in people who don't respect me and don't have the ability. I mean, look, to be very honest, like I understand that hurt people hurt people. Absolutely. Okay. And so the trauma and stuff that she was like so for instance, you you talk about grandfather and stuff going to the Holocaust. My dad was born 1920. Mm-hmm. He grew up in Jim Crow yeah, absolutely. in this country. So his father was a was a porter who 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 in order to feed the family snuck Canadian whiskey. My grandmother had this huge overcoat. Mm-hmm. She sewed pockets, and he used to bring hooch. In, in the coat, he could put 16 bottles of, of, of Canadian whiskey and he would bring it down. He would bootleg mm-hmm. in order to feed 16 kids. So what really made me understand, the problems that I had with my dad was that, is the fact that he was so about the approval of strangers. Kind of like the same thing. Kind of like what we do for a living. And But here's the thing, was... Um, he really needed the validation of strangers, and he didn't care about the validation of the people that were closest to him. It's classic. So he didn't because because that's that's un- that should be or in his mind probably I'm I'm gonna guess Go ahead. unconditional love. In other words, I can yell and scream at my parents no matter what. They're gonna they're always gonna be my pa- they're always gonna love me no matter what. Well, it's also I think the other thing is I'm safe when you have safe. when you have. Uh, when See, you I have, think there's a problem with that. When, when you have no value, when you them. don't have, when you don't, when you don't think you're worth shit. If you like me, something's wrong with you. I know I ain't shit. 
How come you don't know? So if you think I'm a good I, dude, it sounds like big ego with low self esteem, doesn't yeah. it? There's 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 a there's always a duality. There's going to be so, a dichotomy there. There's oh not, yeah, he no, was he, it'd be like he was like I'm the biggest piece of shit in this universe. Is probably what was going on. Well, did he, he drink he a lot? Was, no, no, he didn't drink. He at didn't all. drink the hooch. But what he did do was like he 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 saved every kid in Brooklyn. Like so, he, he was a rescue guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it what? But what happened was my clarity about this was that I understood, I started to just, to look at it in perspectively, perspectively about, here's a dude that grew up in separate water fountains during Jim Crow. Yeah, absolutely. And and so where does he get the ability for self-actualization and, and self-fulfillment? That's not even, and, and that's the thing, we, we're at that, we're, you know, we're at that age of that generation where it was survive, it, there was nothing about self fulfillment or self actualization. It was if your kids don't die, you did good. Yeah. And and we're at a place where we can start to kind of pursue this kind of our own hap- what define what our happiness is and figure out what what uh, how to get there. And 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 the generation after us, they just take it for granted that this. Why well, I, I want to juggle, you know, like it's it's, it's, it's right, there's right, right. no there's no responsibility in a lot of t- in a lot of cases. But what? So my issues with him, even though there was a lot of lot of uh, neglect and and emotional mm-hmm. abuse, I understand that he had he didn't have the ability. Or the emotional acuity to be anything but he like you can't get blood out of a rock. So and wait a so minute. I so I, that, that statement, but that statement tells me you're fucked up. That statement tells oh, yes. you, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a reason you're. Right, there's some the, damage there that that, right, has, the, that needs to be looked my, at. My f- fixing it is to, is to forgive him absolutely for the and to forgive myself for it and to start and to look at it in, in perspective of time and history and, and 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 what it is and that is what now that what's up with your sister though how come you can't forgive her because she's never asked for forgiveness you don't have to ask for forgiveness well she you, doesn't you have to forgive well i i forgive her for for her inability to do that but i don't but it it continues the abuse continues. She abuses you, or oh, she she tries, and I yeah. Don't, you just go. You're I not just standing don't up give for access. It. So I, then maybe you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, by, I, by, by, I, don't, I will not give access. And every time yeah. that I want to give access, my my because we, we're taught family, family, yeah, family, yeah, yeah. and then I would. I go, I've been through this road, yeah. and I can. Oh, oh, oh and I I can, pe- this rattlesnake keeps biting me. Why yeah, do I keep biting it? And yeah. now I go. As soon as I hear it, I go. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. And okay. I stop it in the... And I this stop. is called self-care. Yeah, yeah. This isn't about her. This is about you taking care of yourself. Right. Because she's I, doing what she's doing. Yeah, and she's never going to stop. It, she's never... It's very... To me, it's so... Like, when you get stuck... Like, like yeah. this is what's awesome about me, if I can say that. Sure. sure. I heard I'm what you glad, said. I'm glad that you said that. Yeah. I would have no. never... I heard what you dope. said. I took it in, and I went, there's something there. Rather than demonizing you yeah, yeah, yeah. for giving me constructive criticism... Because I remember, like, when I started, Kevin Hart, before he was Kevin Hart, pulled me aside and started giving me advice. Mm. And my little 19 or 20-year-old ego was like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? Right, right. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Right? Because I was not ready. Yeah. But then I still got older. I go, you know what? Every There might be something to You know what? You're right. Okay. I agree. Now, yeah. my, my younger sister. my middle, I didn't mean that, that she's I'm older, awesome, She's older than me. Right? She's older than me. Yeah. But she's my youngest of the sisters. I have set boundaries. Respect boundaries and respectful boundaries she has complied and came forward and we have a great relationship so there's hope yeah but in that I, department not the other not one the other one is not the other yeah, the other one who's gonna be uh yeah but it's it's but but understanding but i also am not i'm not also you don't get a pass for being a dirtbag when i've said to you specifically this is uh, this is un this is unacceptable Right. And you still keep going with fuck or deny it or right. it, deny in my fate. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I have a harder time forgiving someone who was hurtful to someone I care about than if they were hurtful to me. That's a big problem for yeah, me. That nightingale syndrome. Like Is that what it's called? Take, yeah, like my, my, my cousin denied my grandmother access to her kids her, their whole, her whole life. Yeah. So she never got to meet her great grandkids there. Right. It makes me just sick being in a room with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because of that. And yeah. I don't know what really... I said, I, I can't... My grandmother, there's nothing she could have done that could have warranted that behavior. Right. But 
again, I'm taking poison hoping someone else dies. I'm and, the one who's and suffering you also, for it. Yeah. You also don't know what was be. Have you ever had a conversation with them about that? Um, it it won't go well, so oh, I don't. Okay. I, I, I don't have uh, enough serenity in me. You know, my grandmother and I were very, very close. She's right. gone. And so, yeah, there's an Why anger Why did they there. deny your grandmother? I, 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 she, she comes from a pretty, you know, screwed up family. I don't know what to tell you. It's my, weird. My, my nephews, it's weird. My nephews did that to my mother. And, and, and yeah. You, and you want to put hands on them. Well, I don't, I, it, it was interesting because my mother, I actually think that my mother died because of it. Like she, my, my father had died in 2011 mm. and, and my mother cried about not having access to those kids regularly Ugh. and and my mother raised both of them anyway oh, and they, but they, but my sister is, is, is was my sep- she's a half sister and she's she's my father's daughter and she just she is just selfish and this yeah. was and so she put she there was no loyalty in her and so there was no loyalty in the kids and and she just wouldn't and, and my mother basically i feel like she died of a broken heart because she didn't get a chance to see those kids which is really interesting because um she literally would have um i think she would have stayed alive longer just to spend time with those kids my you know? uh, my my cousin my mom's first cousin had a, a brain tumor. They basically gave her a few months to live, and she said, "Fuck you," and lived for I think fifteen or twenty years yeah. after. Where they were like, you, "You get your affairs in order." She's like, "No, I have grandkids. I'm not." Yeah. And that love oh, kept you her make around. A decision. I, yeah, she oh, was you, like, "No, I'm not dying. Fuck you." Dude, well, you can also it, let go. It, you yes, can let that's go. That's what I mean. Yeah. My mom made a decision. I'll tell you, you what, the day that my mother died, we I came in. Um, I said, "What do you want to eat?" Because we were living in this house together, yeah. just me and her, and I was taking mm. care of her. And I was like, what do you want? And she was like, I don't know. What do you feel like? And I go, well, you know you can have anything you want, right? Mm-hmm. And she goes, I know, right? Yeah. And I go, so she goes, how about Chinese? We ate Chinese food. I was tired because I'd been gigging all weekend. It was like a, it was a Monday or a Tuesday. I was still tired. I went to bed. I heard her go to bed. Mm. And then she just went in her sleep. And next morning, I woke up Saturday. Actually, it was a Friday. It's Friday because I remember it being yes, Saturday when I got Saturday the Saturday morning. That's yeah, brutal. and then she was, but she absolutely had made it. She made sure I didn't have any. I didn't have any one Friday. I didn't have no gigs, and I just went to sleep early. I'm gonna get some sleep, and she just boom. See, yeah, there's a lot of those stories where they're like they wait till you get in, and then they and then they just yeah because you make the decision. You go, yeah. I'm enough, and I think what's interesting even about that is that you your selfishness once like. She died at uh, 82, and uh, but I and I and my sadness and I, Harry and I was talking about this because his grandfather's old, and I said, look, if yeah. she was 182, it, I still wouldn't have been okay. Right? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's never more. okay. No, no, right. And so you got to prepare yourself sure. in yeah. the context of this. The other thing is the trauma that we go through. And appreciate it while it's there, right. too. Right, yeah, absolutely. But be- and that's my grandfather's the one thing- remote today. That's it. That's yeah. all I did. I saw him for 10 minutes, and I was like, Doug, you know what? I, Fuck, you man. know how I be spent gracious. time with my yeah. mom. Like, my even oh, yeah. my Jeep, the, you know, the steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put those steps so my mom, mom could yeah. get in the, in the yeah. Jeep. She used to come. New Year's, she used to come out. Have a ball. Get drunk. Some dude was hitting on her. Like she gotta <laughs> fuck my mom. I'm sorry. I was. Right. I had a few too hot. many. She was hot. We, she was. There was one guy in the crowd kidding. who wasn't laughing. You were drowning yourself. And I was like, Ah, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my win back. And there my, it was, and Mrs. Nero. And now it's Mrs. Aronovich. And my stepson. <laughs> and my stepson like, hey, is Dad. older and bigger than me. <laughs> it's, it, it's important to try to not get in your head. Like I get that feeling because I have had that those instincts for years. I remember one time there was a girl who was. Like uh, going, you know, all, you walk around all day and you make all these, you, a lot of voices and stuff. Like you talk to yourself. I go, well, you think you have it bad. At least you get to leave. I'm stuck with me all day. <laughs> right, you right, right. You get to right. go to work. You get a reprieve. I'm stuck here all day with this brain. What? But you know what I love mo- most about when when I, this is this is why I will never quit doing stand-up, ever. I don't care if I became a giant movie star. When your mouth says something that your brain did, I was like, oh, that was good. Like, I, you know what I mean? When you're in the yeah, flow, yeah, 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 when yeah. it's just not like you don't think your way out of good th- instincts, <laughs> to me, yeah. that is the high you cannot, you can't get a high like that. Yeah. And, 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 and you can't explain this to people. Yeah. When you're like, man, that is, 
Ugh. Yeah, was, in the moment. In yeah, yeah moment. being in the moment, being present. Being present, yeah. I, but I, I find, you know, and a lot of dudes who have, like, these relationship problems and stuff, but because relationships, even male-female, is the, it's it's an extension of those family relationships. And Absolutely. What, what I think is really crazy is how you go under a certain trauma at whatever your age is at, 10 years old or whatever. Uh-huh. You have a limited amount of intellect and, and social dynamics that you understand, but you have to move on. Right. So you, you use whatever you know at 10 years old to survive this trauma. Mm-hmm. The problem is then you become 40, 50, and you're still using the coping mechanisms that you figured out when you were 10 even when you're 50. So, uh, for instance, I, I, I did a consult. I did a relationship consultation. I don't know if I told this, but uh, it's uh, this guy called me up. He wanted to do a group consultation with this girl. He, She was 26. He was, like, 30. Uh, she was a stripper. He, She kept fucking people. Like, every time he was late to pick her up or something would happen. <laughs> that's a great. Up, that's great. She'd end up uh, in a... Ten t- minutes <laughs> late? You got seven minutes in you? That's going to make your fucking commute real stressful. Yeah, 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 that's... The, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm stressing about getting my to Gotham house. on time. Yeah. Imagine if my wife go fuck somebody. Jeez, I got to go, guys. <laughs> and it also le- removes the anxiety for her because if she's... If you're late, she's fucking. So she's good, too. So, um... Jeez. So I, I, I get... I get her on the phone and uh, and she just kept threesomes and hookups with girls and she's eating just and and I said uh, first thing I said I said did you have you ever been sexually molested? She goes yes. Right. I go how old was she? She said I was nine. Right. I go for what period of time? She goes nine to sixteen. <laughs> I go, okay, so I want you to understand this and you you need to forgive yourself because this is a this is a common way in which yeah. women who have been abused, they 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 it, and it's not what you think what it is is the intimacy is poisoned based on you're a child and then you have the people that you trust and they betray your trust. Mm-hmm. And so you have a problem understanding what intimacy is because intimacy is also pain. And sex and intimacy, it's all get clumped together. And it's also being vulnerable. Well, you're vulnerable and you feel you, you, you feel it's your fault somehow because as a 10-year-old, 9-year-old, you don't have any other – Right. You, you can't even look – but what happens is you go, okay, this, this poison, this toxicity that's brought into my life is – say it's like arsenic. There's a difference if I take an eyedropper and put a couple of drops of arsenic down your throat. And is it different if I take a, a dropper of ice arsenic and I put it in a in a pool, and then I drink the pool? It it softens it. It, it dilutes it. So the more sex she would have, the more the pain of intimacy was diluted. And so she separated intimacy from sex. And I'm just oh, it's just sex. I'm just a free spirit. And she was just fucking to dilute the pain. In the first place, right. and she had not, but she didn't understand that that was it was just kind of what worked at nine years old. As she, you know, as she got old, it, it worked, and then she just continued this. And I said to her, you, "You have to first forgive yourself because you didn't know anything right. at nine years old, and you and and the, the the crazy thing is that you were actually able to survive this trauma." At nine years old, like think, what, what, with the limited amount of information you had, you were able to solve this and be resilient enough to survive this. The problem is, as you've moved through your life and you're 26 years old or you're 40 years old or you're 50, you have learned so much about the di- social dynamics, but you never reassess the problem so that the solution is is based on all the entirety of the information that you understand in relationships, you're still dealing with it as you would have if when you're a nine year old kid. And I'm sure she feels damaged that she's oh, yeah. damaged goods sure. and that you know that my value is my sex. Yeah. Therefore I will seek the approval. She's not much different than a comic. Yeah. Uh, you know, in that like I'll get men to give me dollar bills for my, my body. Yeah. And I'll yeah. I'll fuck them cause you know what I mean? And that's yeah. Uh, right price. I I understand it. Yeah, I'm not. I I feel bad, but sh- that's it's that's, the same makeup. It's the a same bit. thing. It's yeah. just the way it manifests. Yeah. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Um. But you. But if you reassess it, mm. if you reassess the pain, based on all that you've learned 
And it's like the whole thing when we when I was saying like why you focus on this one guy. Because that you want that you want the guy who doesn't like you. That's yeah, important. That's... You don't care about and then when you realize hey, he's not important. No. Like and then right. and then and then the way we feel this kind of insecurity because of the fact of that people who who we love or family members are saying, Oh, you're not this or you're not that or this is not gonna work or that's not gonna work. When you look at the, the, the sum total of who they are, they suck at assessing the character of people. They're horrible at it. Mm-hmm. So for you to let them assess your character in the context of somebody who sucks at it, mm-hmm. like it's, it's absurd to do that. It's like, it's like letting a guy who's not a comic critique your comedy. You you don't even do this. I love when people do that. Yeah, I you know, but but that's it's also a disservice to the to the rest of the people that are, are digging you. And uh, yeah. I've been you know I've I've been much better about it since yeah. we've, I've worked on it because it's a muscle. It's yeah. a muscle you have yeah. to work you on. Keep doing it's it. just like this girl needs to work on her self esteem, work on her self worth, yeah. work on and you know honoring gonna, herself. She's still gonna fuck people. And it's she not, is going to fuck not, people. It's, it's not, not going to happen end. overnight. No. There are times when someone, like, say, I'm on a cruise and, and I'm, you know, this cruise, performing on a cruise, they don't know what, the, you know, you're not yeah. dealing with people paid any, they, they think it's a, you know. Yeah. So if they leave early, which does not happen often, when they do, I used to chase them. I don't know, I've been a wildest <laughs> mic, and we walk, I fucking chase them <laughs> out the door. Right. Now I just go, oh, look, an early standing ovation. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I said. <laughs> you know, and then I've done it where it's like, it's eating my lunch, and I find out later, they didn't speak English. Yeah. And so I take it like, oh, I wasn't entertaining enough right, for right, you. What right. am I going to light myself on fire and right. walk on stuff? No, they don't speak English. It's yeah. a hard. Now, why do they come to the front row? I don't know. But when they come late, I make fun of them. And yeah, I know yeah. that's not personal. They're just, yeah. you know, you come late, you sit in the back. Great. You come in the front. You know, this is a little entitlement there. More, more over than not, I, I don't think that people are malicious. Like, I don't think the intent, is the, the, yeah. intent the initial intent, it's usually I'm fucked up. I'm I'm trying to validate myself by moving from point A to point B, and you happen to be in the way. Uh, even evil people don't think they're evil, right? Yeah, that's true. They you never know, do. They never do. They, you know what? Well, and, then what's I'm the just boundary, I'm though? just giving you the yeah. what for. Yeah, I. I <laughs> then where then? But when do you delineate that? Because I mean, I'm not a Trump guy. Right? Look, we're Obviously. talking great people here. Yeah. We're fantastic. <laughs> Tar, uh, what's your name? Harry Turginian. Turginian, yeah. <laughs> Turginian, great guy. What is that? Are you? You're a big problem. You're a real problem. Am I? Oh, geez, that, that turned quick. Where, where are you from? Where are you from, I, I'm Harry? Armenian. I'm where Armenian. You from? You're Armenian? Armenian and Ecuadorian. The great people love Armani suits. The okay. great suits. That's not the same fantastic. thing. Fantastic. It's the totally thing, the same sir. thing. In fact, it's totally the same thing. And you're not even Gucci. You're not even Gucci. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. That guy, see, that guy yeah. doesn't have... But he uh, thinks he's a good guy. Right. Yeah. He doesn't understand. There's, there's a damage there. He's a sociopath. Right. right. So his father, yeah. there, if you look at the, the psychology of that yeah. and that family, you go, sure. he doesn't, he's incapable. Incapable. What's incapable. so confusing to me is the people that, that buy into it and they don't realize, they go, yeah, we, listen, my friend works in construction. He hired him and said, you can get half the money we agreed on or you could sue me and I'll win and you'll get nothing and you'll lose money. Those are your options. Yeah. And they go, well, that's just business. I'm like, no, that's a that's not that's business. A that's thing that's a, like, that's a bad... That's it's no integrity, yeah. Yeah, that's a, you know... Well, I the first thing with that, I said... When he turned against Pence and that dude Whew, carried I mean, water for yes. him before he was the first Mike one with Pence, the red hat on. Great guy, great guy, <laughs> fantastic guy. He's from Indianapolis, which is a great country. Okay. Yeah. He's uh he's yeah, yeah he, he 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 Pence When you turned Pence, on that dude, I mean yeah. you know, and also like the the irony with the religious, like they've gotta they gotta look past three cheats. No matter what you know, he's cheating on on all. The, you got to look through, grab him yeah. by the pussy. You know, I have a mother. Says, you got to, you got to just, you got to. Well, I don't like him. I like the policies. You know that. There's a justification. Right, right, you know yeah. what I mean? But it just shows you that the whole ideology of these people is false. You know, the whole front is false. The whole thing has always it's a, been it's false. A, it's a discussion, not in good faith. Yeah, correct. And and, and you know what? The the hypocrisy of for me is I see a red hat and I get I would I have the same reaction as they see your skin. Yeah. Or they look at your last yeah. name or my religion. It's the same reaction. I'm like, but you, I don't think I'm you're muttering wrong, to myself but because I, it's a choice. Yeah, that's the difference. That's the difference. Like yeah. I go, I have try to have empathy for the cop who's pulling over, the, who's scared. Yeah. Okay, but it's a choice. Yeah. Nobody, you know, you were born into with a badge. Yeah. Your skin color is your skin color. Yeah. 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 You know. And the and the and the, the programming. 
Right. It's the culture, the culture of it, it the fact that you've, you've bought into this, and I get that you've bought into this and that this is, this is what validates you as a person. Your patriotism validates you as a person, so you, you, you're, you're really nothing. So the and programming can be, I mean, from society or from family. I know for me, I had to, I, had, I just, this pandemic reassessed a lot of things for me because I ended up staying with my dad for a while. Right? Yeah. So I realized that I never had a chance psychologically <laughs> like in hindsight yeah. with everything that so what happened was my dad was always kind of nuts growing up it was very you know i always chalked it up to the guys trying to i gave him benefit of doubt he's raising three kids he's got you know he's trying to he came to america with nothing and he's, yeah. he's got the stress of two survive. mortgages and he's surviving he's trying to survive so and i finally had enough of him and moved away mm -hmm. started my own life i couldn't do it anymore so i just stopped communicating with him a little bit with 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 exceptions of seeing him here and there yeah. when i came back it started up again and what i realized just as an older person now after 10 years was oh okay he's fucked up you he's, really can't you really can't do this you can't do anything but this right and also what i learned was he was so uh so scared of everything. He was the worst case scenario guy, which made me the worst case scenario yeah, guy because right. that's how I was raised. Yeah. Everything is one time, and even when I- Harry was, used to, when we've been doing this podcast yeah. nine years, yeah. Harry go, I don't want to be the negative Nancy, yeah. but, and yeah, then yeah. he would be the negative Nancy. And I would, Nobody's going to listen. <laughs> yeah. So You're going to get canceled before canceling was a thing. <laughs> there we go. And that's in my head. Like, yeah. literally, because I was I, Right raised... now, we're talking. I'm going, I'm going to miss my spot. I'm uh, missing my spot. I'm missing... The whole time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I went, why did, why did I take worst, this? I'm missing my spot. It, it's scenario. making... It's, it's a very... This is yeah. why people get God. Because that's the only thing that I go. Well, you know it's what? It's easier outside it'll, influence. It'll yeah. work out. It's a. Yeah. It's a. Who, who has? It'll work out without something. Right. Drugs. That's religion. Religion. It'll yeah. work out. It'll if work I just out. Do these you get to. Things. You do the things. As long as you buy this specific yeah. brand, you. I had a guy on a plane tell me that uh, my friend, who was a Buddhist, who used to, who got diagnosed with terminal cancer and and felt bad for the doctor because it might have impacted his day negatively, literally right. said. That must have been very stressful for you. I'm so sorry that that you had to right. carry that it's burden. Uber this is what a this is what a, like a guy who I went. Do you know any good charities? I don't, I'm mistrusting. And he goes, Yeah, this one's great. They do this work and that work. Didn't tell me it's his charity. Never took. I found out after he died. That's his charity. I went, Oh my god, this guy's ridiculous. Mm. He's going to hell because he didn't buy the name brand. But sure. Bill Cosby, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be in no problem. And that to me, that's because he's going like, it's, stop it's playing absurd. God. It's absurd. Just be yeah. be a be a, yeah. a nice. Maybe. Like, I'll ask yeah. questions if I see what you're doing. If you put a pamphlet up my nose, I'll get the fuck away from me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You're saying but because of the, the, the need to, to push it on me. Yeah. It's not the need. It's the idea. And I get what it is. I get the historical basis. We have these warring clans, and we're trying to make sure our clan does not disappear like the Assyrians or etc. So, therefore, the Jews procreate. Live together, eat at the same restaurants, live in the same neighborhoods. Sure, yeah. They have they built communities where that's like, oh, they're strong. Why are the Jews always successful? Because their community built based on their religion, right? Christianity, spread the word, spread the word, convert, convert, get more, get more, recruit, recruit, recruit. Because it's a survival mechanism. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's what they. And to me, I go, if you live as an example, which is the the whole chosen thing, whatever. And I'm not that anyone's really doing it. But if you if if you look, if I see what you're doing, I go, this person is like. Z like the, what, and I'm gonna start asking questions. What, what's going on here? Because there's an energy that I will I will get to if you go that feels different. If you right, so so if you yeah. if you sell me something, I could smell you're selling me something. Mm -hmm. You know this. The, I used to tour with this guy. We'd smell the, this Jewsry, and I just ask him, "Do you make any money off it?" Yeah, I can tell. It's not you're not really trying to heal my my joints. You're trying to make a buck. It's very clear. The only organization that doesn't ask for your money is Alcoholics Anonymous. They don't want your money. Yeah. They turned down. This is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. They were going to go under. And Rockefeller said, I'm going to give you millions of dollars and make sure you save it because you guys are doing great work. And they said, we can't take your money because then you can tell us you can have opinions about the way we run things. Mm -hmm. We'd rather go under than take your money. Yeah. And then, th then you go, well, there's no motive. There's no money. We can't. We cannot make money. Yeah. It's against the whole traditions of that thing. Well, you know, I, I just fascinated. I, I had a really, I had a, an accident on a motorcycle. Somebody ran into the back of me, mm. and uh, the guy. I had, I was trying to find a guy. I had a guy. I had a, a motorcycle guy who was just a dirtbag, and just mm. and I, I actually, uh, I had sent. I, if, but we were close, and because of 
I guess because of he was a little intimidated by me, he treated me well. But my friends, he would try and he would fuck my friends over. Mm. Um, what was uh, Guerrero's? Alexis, Alexis Guerrero's. Guerrero's. Yeah. You know Alexis, right? No. Um, he bought a, a scooter from him. And the guy, my friend, I was like, I, I don't know. He goes, but he was the only guy that, who, who had the dealership of these electric scooters. And so Alexis bought a, a scooter from a comic, uh, comic friend of mine. And, and uh, what he did was he, he worked everything out, took the, the back page of the financial agreement and added $500 to it. And then when he when he when the kid checked the, with the bank, it didn't add up, and he had he he, he conned him out of another five hundred dollars. Yeah. And he Alexis went to the guy, and was, so I, I so the guy was like a dirtbag, and I guarantee you that he fucked me, but maybe I, I that I just couldn't tell, and I just I just don't I just don't go there anymore. I right, just, it's not. <laughs> I had a guy screw me out of rent. Um, I I wanted I had a guy I had a guy steal my apartment. And I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, physically harm this. Yeah, dude. yeah. And then when I saw him in the street, I was like, "Oh, I'm less tough than I really think I am." Because <laughs> I was like, "What am I? What am I really going to do? I'm going to beat him up for what? He's and, sick." And the other, right, the other thing is that you can't, you can't just beat up the part that you you want to beat up. Like that guy has to be that guy. All the time. That's Brett Duggan's line. Your life is my revenge. Yeah, yeah. That's what he would say to people. Oh, Your that, life. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Your I'm life doing. is my revenge. Yeah, yeah. And you, this guy, like I used to, I had a, you know, every year, like I mean, it, I grew up in this neighborhood, and there was a, they every year somebody would break into my car and steal my radio, my speakers and shit. And then in I, this neighborhood, yeah. Well, not oh my now. gosh, great. Now there's a Starbucks and everything. Oh my gosh. Um, and I would uh. <laughs> That the day that they would steal it, I would go get the glass cleaned out, get the glass fixed, and then I would put a better stereo in it, right? Mm. And then I, I would go. I always wanted to be the guy who got the stereo stolen, as opposed to being the guy who has who to steal, steal it. Stereo. This yeah, guy is good. crawling through the glass in the rain. He's going to steal my shit. Yep. And he's going to sell it for a hundred bucks, and then he's going to have to do it again for the next fix that he has. Um, and I and I'm gonna just get a I'm gonna get a better stereo. And I and I started realizing that you can't pick and me and Harry talk about this a lot of times with people that we that we would envy in comedy who are have a higher status. Sure. They're a mess. Like a lot of them. Most of them. They're a fucking mess. And but you can't cherry pick their life. In a you got to buy the whole car. You can't just have the steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to buy the whole car. It is. It well, is. We've, I've had this conversation. I realized I was climbing the wrong mountain. Yeah. I have a kid. My kid looks me in the eyes. I went, okay, I won. I'm yeah. good. It's over. All the rest is all bonus. Now yeah. it's all in a different kind of thing. That desperation to fill the hole with the approval of strangers, the idea that I was going to be this thing, yeah. this name, because it's a fear of death in a lot of yeah. ways. I'll be yeah. famous and I'll live forever wanna, in a way. I want to be remembered. I want to be remembered. Yes, I want and now I went. Eh, my, my kids, my kids, everything. Yeah, this kid's perfect. That, I mean, I mean, a, that was my thought when I had my. Well, it puts it I want to let's let him yeah. go. Come on, pump your shit. Whatever you want. Rich wanna... is funny. On uh, if you want to see me dance, I think <laughs> I think I I I bother you with my dancing. Uh, a little bit. It's yeah, I little... think you, I think you had to go away from it. You know, this is the thing. I get it. I was making fun of TikTok. Uh, you got to be really secure with your sexuality, and it might have brought up some old trauma oh, with your dance. No, it just—it's just not. Not saying you're insecure with your sexuality, but it, it's just weird. It's—it's it's it's uncomfortable. It's not pretty, Rich. I, I understand. <laughs> it's getting me a lot of attention. I get it. I, I'm, yeah, and I'm, no. and I'll do what I have to do. But I understand where you went. I can't. I can't. You know, I get it. But um, <laughs> I understand. I knew. I know. I know. I like. I, I had my parents. It's the hairy belly, dude. It's the. It's the yeah, yeah, my parents. Yeah. They had an intervention. I was like, they're really? sitting me down. They were like, you're not gonna get corporate gigs. You may not be on Dante's podcast. <laughs> and I'm the whole time they're talking. I'm like, you know, I've done drugs. Like, this is what you're worried about, anyways. Uh, yes. Lucky shit. Let me. Tick, uh, Rich is funny. One word. Instagram is more diverse. Mm -hmm. Every now and again, I put them dance. But you gotta keep pumping the fucking. Yeah. The, the stuff. So I'm like, all right, That's this is, takes ten seconds, and it gets a lot. Of attention, <gasps> approval, 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 endorphins, endorphins, endorphins. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, rich is funny. One word, rich is funny. You thank you so and, much. And rich is uh, call very me. Funny. Let's, let's let's talk about talk that tomorrow. thing that we yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. man. Thank you, everybody. Love We're you, gonna uh, join us. Rich. On, thank you, bro. Join thank us you for on, uh, Join us over on Patreon. Where Dante and I are gonna do something. Uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit of stuff. And uh, thank you. We appreciate it.
Uh, should I go GYBB? Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The Sexual Revolution is being podcast. I love y'all. Don't forget to follow us on Patreon, please. Mans- uh, Patreon.com slash Manschool202. And uh, y'all need a consultation. Hit me at Dante, DanteNero.com. Uh, click on consult. Uh, I love y'all. We're out. <laughs>